Hey, NJRoot22.com here with another cheap wine reviews vlog. This one is uh, very interesting to me because I have overlooked it a million times. It's the Franzia Dark Red Blend. It's the Vint Vintner Select. I overlooked these because I, I heard anecdotally that they were they were the worst wines ever, or the worst box wines, and they're also the cheapest. But the other day it dawned on me that <laughs> there's five liters, that's 5,000 milliliters of wine, which is uh, six and two thirds bottles of wine for $17.99. It comes out to less than $2.70 per 750 milliliter serving or bottle or whatever you want to call it. So this is six and two thirds bottles of wine. And I looked at them, I think I overlooked it in the past because I don't know why I do that. I, I, I can gather myself. It's, I don't really have gas. When I go like that, I think I'm just thinking. I, I don't know why I do that. But I looked at these, these wines, these Franzi wines in the past, and they were all 12 and percent. I really stay away from the 12 and percent. But then I looked at this one, I'm like dark red. That's the latest trend, it's the dark red blends and all this other crap. I think that's just their way of saying <laughs> dark red blend is, um, we don't know what the F this is, it just is. So we're just gonna call it something. We can't tell you what grapes are in it. It's like it's just a, like a roulette wheel of grapes. <clears throat> I looked at this, 13 and a half percent. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, you know, this might, we might be onto something here. Or, or not, or we may be uh, in for a horrible day tomorrow. Um, I really don't care about the history of this company or how long they've been around or what their their MO is and I don't care. I care how I feel the next day and what the value is. I looked on their stupid website, you know, I mean I, I knew something was wrong the minute I saw like they have carbon efficient and green uh, on their menu options. I really don't freaking care. It, it's all big scam. Don't don't even buy into that emotional triggering. But anyway, here's their stupid, um, carefully edited tasting notes. I hate tasting notes. I'll tell you some tasting notes when I'm done reading this. Rich, juicy flavors of dark fruit with aromas of red cherry and ripe plum. The finish is smooth with a hint of vanilla and pepper spice. Enjoy with red meats and chocolate desserts. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the, I mean, I think I do thumbs up every time because I like drinking fast, so it's not because the wine is good. If you ever see me going like this with a wine, it doesn't mean I'm endorsing, so let, let, I may have to rethink this thumbs up because the thumbs up is my pleasure for drinking, you know, this is a 32 ounce jug here, drinking 12 ounces or so of it, but I'll, I'll drink it now anyway. And maybe I'll try it without the thumb. Ah. I have to say, that's, uh, it's more refreshing than that uh, Bayeca from the other day. That Spanish wine that was $40 at one point in time, down to 10 or 11 or 12. Forget about it. I'll tell you one thing about this Franzia. This isn't my, this is my third glass, and I'm drinking eight of these glasses, which equal two of these bottles, this size bottle. What I do is I, I take this, oh, freaking box, it's like over 10 pounds. I take it and I fill my bottle up twice so I can measure without really relying on my memory of, of, of filling up the, uh, the measuring cup to six and a half ounces every time. I fill this up to about there and I drink this twice. That's two bottles of wine. This, that's a more accurate uh, general estimation. But yesterday I was drinking some other kind of wine. I forget. It, it wasn't in, included in the review. And then when I finished, I said, I need one more glass. So I cracked open this freaking roadblock of a box of wine. It's not that heavy, I can, it's just, you're not used to it. You're used to carrying a, a three liter um, bottle, something that's 40% heavier. It's, this weighs over 10 pounds. It's uh, 160 ounces, I think, 150, 170 ounces of, uh, of wine. A eight pound gallon is 128 ounces. That's like almost a, ha a half, it's like 10 or 12 pounds. It's amazing, it's, it's awesome. Use it as a weapon. Anyway, I drank some ordinary wine that's like a hot, slightly higher quality. Believe me, it wasn't really that much higher quality. And I 
at the end of the night, I, I had one glass of this before I went to bed. Completely different league. You cannot mix like a like a oak barrel um, wine and then have this afterward. It really didn't. Came in for a surprise. It tasted almost uh, like not like wine. It tasted like uh, like a vomit. No, not vomit, but hmm. What's the word I'm looking for? Gag. It was gag inducing, and because it. Not because of the taste per se, because of the surprise I got. It was a very unwine-like taste. However, today I made an effort to to start off and only have this. And it's not the most welcoming flavor, the way they say, you know, uh, thin it, I mean, uh, hints of this and dark. It really does taste kind of like almost yeasty. I don't know if that's the right word. Maybe I got a bad box. I checked the expiration. It's good till uh, May 10th of 2019. So I have well, I mean, I have at least six or eight months to drink it. Like June, July, August, nine months to drink it. But I'll tell you this much. It's more refreshing as that Baika that I had the other day. Um, it's, it's a fun wine to drink, I guess. The key is, how do I feel after two bottles? So I'm only three-eighths of the way into, into this endeavor. So I'm going to kick off bottle number one and, and, and prepare bottle number two, and I'll come back either at the end. I'm gonna try and make these shorter. They've been going on um, 20, 30 minutes, and that's not good. So I'm gonna cut this zone off. Just let you know that it was it, it has a completely different taste. I wouldn't even worry about it. You get used to it, um, and it's not offensive, except unless you follow like a finely aged wine, and then it, this really does taste different. So that those are the key takeaways at this moment. I'll come back when I'm either at or near the two bottle limit, and then I'll do another video in the morning um, to, to see how I feel. All right, that's it. Hey, we're back here with our final um, drinking time update for the night for the Franzia Dark Red Blend. Um, I have a couple anecdotes to share with you guys. Number one, this is a, they say it's a 13.5% alcohol wine. I'm on my eighth glass, which is, this is the last of the two bottles that I, I drank. And I don't feel nearly as slurry. If you watch any of my other videos, I get really like kind of tired and slurry, and I ramble and da 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 da. Not happening with this. So I'm questioning the alcohol content on this. I don't quite buy it. Why? Based on simple experimentation. I've had other 13.5s like the Explorer Door. I did like a way back. Two bottles of that, two 750s, and I'm a little bit at the end. I feel like, I mean, I'm not done with the last bottle. Maybe this is the, the grand finale, and I'm just gonna like hit, hit the fan like a pile of dog poop. I don't know, maybe it's one of those wines where it's like all of a sudden, like you're fine, and whoa, you face plant on the ground. I don't know. With that said, I'm wondering if this lack of buzz is going to either translate into a hey, I'm going to feel freaking fantastic tomorrow, or the worst hangover. So we're, we're going to find out in the morning. I'm going to do uh, my last sip here, ready? Ah, and that reminds me. Remember how I told you that it tastes kind of like gamey and yeasty? After, you know, for two, three, four, five, six, seven. The wine tastes just as good as, as those other expensive wines that I've had this far into the game. So like it really, I can't tell the difference. It's actually quite refreshing and good. I may have a ninth and 10th glass. That'll ruin my day after review, but I don't care. I like it. This, this, is, this may be my new friend, I don't know. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> what movie is that from? God, like uh, God, Godfather? Ah. 
All right, it's not the most refreshing. Definitely not as bad as the Bayeka, which was this highly touted $40 wine, reduced to 25, 38 to 10. D don't, don't believe the hype, as they said. Who is that, the Public Enemy? And I don't think you should believe this hype either. I mean, it's, I don't know if it's hyped up, but for anybody who's on a budget and just wants to get a, like, like have wine at night or have a good buzz, profoundly, the numero uno deal out there is this, this one. Not the, the white boxes, but the black box that says dark red blend. And uh, you know what? I mean, I'll be honest. I didn't try the white boxes. Maybe the 12 and a halfs have more of an impact than a 13 and a half that they claim. I don't have an alcohol testing machine here where I can just dip a little swab into a in, into this bag here and it'll tell me exactly what it is. If I can squeeze this in a, a 60 seconds, I'd be happy. Why don't they have home consumer testing kits to find out the chemical composition? They claim they have them, they don't, okay? I promise you they don't. They have things that scan your food. It's a big effing sham. It, it goes into a database and, and it, it's not really actually chemically scanning your food. I promise you. But they need something where you take like Let's say you get a like a, like a plate of nachos. You, you, you take a representation sample, like a third of it or a quarter of it. You stick it into this solution, this some sort of neutral solution, or, and it'll dissolve the the material, and it, and, and it is, it'll mix it into a fluid. Where you can just stick something in, and it'll tell you exactly per serving size, and you can uh, obviously uh, adjust the criteria. You know, like one ounce, six ounce, eight ounce, 12 ounce, a pound. This is 22% carbs, you know, 4% uh, protein, you know, da, da, da. They have that. They have it. They absolutely have it. It's not complicated. You have to just, like, emulsify all the ingredients into an even base, okay, that we're... Every scoop is exactly the same percentage of ingredients. Like, think of the plate of nachos again, or a hamburger with french fries. That plate is comprised of like a million different like ingredients. You got the bun, the sesame seeds, the meat, the bacon, the onions, the mayo, the, the lettuce, the french fries. But if you want to know what the, the nutritional content of that entire vat of food you got, you basically stick it into this, this jar with some sort of emulsifying fluid and you, and you make it equal. You make every spoonful of that food equal to each other. And then at that point you can do a chemical analysis on it and say that this entire plate, and you weigh the, 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 the jar, let's say it was a jar, this, this was my hamburger, malt, like liquefied, and you say, okay, this is, this is a pound of material. 16 ounces, 454 grams. And then you, you take a scoop, and every scoop is equal at that point. Once you've emulsified it and like blended it together and everything is, is, is pretty much equal, you, you stick it into this machine, and it says, okay, this is 20% carbs, 50% fat, and 40%, uh, 30% protein. Then you can that you can you can do the math at that point based on the weight of this of solution minus whatever emulsifying agent or liquid you put in it. They have that already. They have it already. It's just not available to the public, and that's why for the past five years or more, these Kickstarter stupid ass campaigns. I'm sorry, this is so off the beaten path of wine, but it's sort of related because I want to be able to really test the alcohol content of this wine. They've had these stupid Kickstarter campaigns from these fly-by-night um, like, like financial companies who use psychological marketing to trick people. You, you scan your Apple and it'll tell you. No! None of those food scanning tools work. I guarantee you they don't work. They might be, you know, I don't know, 30% accurate based on the fact that they're using the general, generally known nutritional information like an Apple scan, or da, da, da. but they don't know 
and those stupid things are ripping you up. I feel horrible for the people that have shelled out millions of dollars collectively and bought into their marketing campaign because you bought into a marketing campaign. You didn't buy into the science, okay? That's the truth, I guarantee it. But let, let me remind you, you take your hamburger, french fries, buns, and so on, you stick it into an emulsifying agent, you equalize the, the liquid, where every spoonful or scoop that comes out of it is exactly, you know, plus or minus 1%, the exact same composition of ingredients. And then you analyze that, and then you can multiply by the weight and figure out what the, the nutritional content is. They need products like that for human beings to use on a consumer level. So I can go, if I take my stupid Stouffer stuffed pepper uh, thing, and it says it's 300 uh, calories and, and six grams of carbs, I want to stick that stupid pepper into my little my 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 emulsifying jar, and I want to be able to to know exactly that the composition times weight minus emulsifying agent equals exactly what they say. Why can't we verify what these people say is in our food? I will get back to this in a minute, but. I have one last thing to say. I went rambling. Holy crap, I went 10 minutes. But I think this is an important thing. Maybe I'll cut it out and make it another video. Two footnotes. Two footnotes and, and these may be impactful footnotes. The first one is going to be an, an impactful footnote. I drank two bottles of wine, the equivalent. I drank 1.5 liters of Franzia. And I feel fine, actually. I feel so much more fine than I did with other two bottle test things, uh, experiments. So I may have another one or two glasses, so that may impact this review for tomorrow morning. Luckily, since I have like, like this giant like vessel of, of wine, I, I may be able to do it again if I screw up. If I say, oh, I feel like crap, I have to do it again with really two liters. I mean, yeah, 1.5 liters. Number two, I want to show you this uh, this this valve here. See that valve? This is an interesting valve. Almost all valves have a thumb depressor where you just press it, and if you drop it, it's not going to spill wine. This is a uh, like a like a sink faucet. You turn it, and it stays on until you turn it off. That's one of the flaws of this box. Like you have to, I mean, it's good. If, like for me, when I was filling up my wine bottle, I just turned turn the knob and waited. And it was done. It was just like a faucet. That's like human nature. However, <laughs> there's something to be said about, about action reaction. Like when you hold the, the, the knob down, you're guaranteed it's not going to move if you move your if you remove your hand. This you just have to be conscious of. So like I think as you get, I think they might bank on the fact that people might get so drunk that they don't know how to turn the knob off, and then all the wine goes away and they have to buy another box of Francia. You know I don't know. Anyway, I will decide if I want to remove that five minute rampage about about um, chemical analysis because I'm sure they have that technology. I am sure they have that technology. Without a doubt, they have that technology. They wouldn't be able to put together these nutritional labels with such accuracy if they didn't have such technology. They don't want that technology hitting the, the, the mainstream human populace. And that's why they came up with those fraudulent, stupid ass cloud scanners that just took pictures of an apple and then took the, the mainstream, uh, commonly known data about a freaking apple. You don't know about an apple. You have to do a true chemical analysis to get the real sugar, protein, starch, etc. content of it. So don't believe those freaking labels. And if anybody that's watching this, and like all the 25 people that watch it, 
If you see those stupid Kickstarter campaigns of these fancy devices that, that can scan your, your banana and tell you what you're getting and you buy it, I can offer free consultation to, to get out of that, that, that paradigm you're in and, and shift it to something like, like a lot more, more healthy. Anyway, I'm going to put this back in the fridge. I am definitely going over two bottles tonight. I mean, I'm just on a roll tonight. I'm rendering a video in my office. I have to figure out a way to edit this, uh, this, this chemical testing tirade out of the, out of the video. But I think I may make it into another video because it's important to know. Chemistry is simple. We did it in elementary school. You can mix it all together and make it almost an equal juice. Just remember that. And you can test that little equal juice, you know, 28 grams, 28.4 grams is an ounce. And you can figure out exactly what's in it. Every chemical that's in it. You don't need a high tech device. And, and the fact that I've asked like, like, like neuroscientists that invented Tarver control and did all sorts of other things and they don't believe me that that's possible means they're part of the freaking racket. I'm done. I'm done with this. It will happen. Some brilliant guy in his garage is going to invent it. He's going to be on Kickstarter probably in the next five years, three to five years. And it's gonna blow the health industry out of the water. It has to happen, it will. All right, I'll see you in the... Hey there, it's the uh, day after of the uh, Franzia box wine, the cheapest wine you could possibly uh, buy, I think, per glass. And I have to say that uh, I actually drank more than two bottles, um, like one glass more than two bottles. And I only got three hours of sleep, so all those things considered, I, uh, I feel okay today. So that being said, I think it passes the test. I'll try again a couple times. I mean, I have six and two thirds bottles there to uh, test this out and that's it.